It's the simplest things in life that give us the most pleasure a lot of the times, and that is what today's lesson is all about. Showing you how you can take some really simple and easy chords and, you know, how they sound just amazing on the acoustic guitar. You don't need to do a lot to make this instrument sound really good, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, now, the great thing about this is you only need two fingers, all right, and uh, you can play these chords. So pretty much anyone can play them. Uh, even if you're uh, an intermediate player, uh, you're still going to enjoy this lesson because regardless, it sounds really good and the chords look sophisticated because if anyone is looking at you, you know, these chords aren't really normal to see all the time. You know, it's not your standard cowboy chords, alright? So it's a lot of fun to play. So I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, so let's get fired right into it, shall we? We're going to start with a D chord. And then we're going to take our middle finger off. Now, I've done a little chord progression here that I think sounds pretty cool. Uh, you can pick it, you can strum it, you can do whatever you like with it, but I'll show you a few different things you can do. But we're going to start with a D chord, a D sus2, right? A D with your middle finger taken off. We play that from the D string. Alright? Already that chord sounds pretty nice, right? I love that chord. Actually, if you've got any two finger uh, chord songs, that you know and sound really great, I'd like to know in the comments. Not just for me, but for anyone else, especially beginners who are struggling to get their hands round, their fingers round, uh, you know, the full chords as well. So if you know any of those songs, like, um, what's that one? A Horse With No Name is a good example. Two fingers. And uh, you can play the whole song pretty much. All right, but anyways. Going off on a tangent. We've got the D sus too. Then I'm going to take my middle finger to the third fret um, on the A string, that's a C note. And what I want you to do is just get the bass note and strum it, right? Because that's what's going to make the difference with these chords. Because believe it or not, our third finger is going to stay here the whole time. It's not going to move. And the only thing that's going to change is the bass note, right? So we've got the D. Then we've got to take our middle finger to the C note on the third fret. Pack it. Strum. Then we're going to come to the B note, which is the second fret in the A string. Pack it drum and if you're going to be asking me what chords these are it's going to be straight up I don't know <laughs> but they sound nice that's all that matters right and then we've got to come back to B flat or A sharp depending on your preference on the first fret now this is what's going to cause most people the most grief right it's a bit of a stretch all right, but you can skip that part out of it if it's really difficult for you, right? But try and get that stretch across. You just need to kind of adjust your hand a little bit. All right, so we've got the D, C, B, B flat, and then we're going to come back up to C. And then we're going to start again, right? All right, so these chords sound really great when you when you strum them, right? So I've got a really cool strumming pattern for you. But uh, before we do that, uh, I'd like to show you a little picking pattern so that we can add some different dynamic to it. We can do a little intro and build it up and, and do different things with it, right? Um, that's how you make simple things sound really cool. So we're going to start with the D, and we're going to play the bass note, the G, E, B, back to G again, right? So... We've got to use the same thing in every chord. The only thing that's going to change is the bass note, right? So D, uh, G, E, B, G. We want to get the muscle memory in for that. You do a little bit of practice with that with the pick and it makes things a lot easier. Alright, and then we've got to change the bass note, take our middle finger to the C note, and then just move to the A string for our bass note. Same thing with the next chord. Same thing with the next chord. And then when we come back to the C, we're just going to strum it twice. Because it's a bit of a fast change, alright? Let's look at a little strumming pattern we can do then. 
So the most difficult part about this strumming, right, will definitely be the low E ringing out, which will muddy the chords up a little bit. So you want to try and avoid that. Um, and if you're a bit sloppy like me, then the best way to do that is to try and mute that low E, right? So use your thumb or your middle finger, depending on what chord you're using, right? So if I was using the C, I would use my thumb here, right? If I've got my index finger here, and my thumb is like here, I would just use my middle finger. Now this could be a little bit, feel a wee bit weird at first, you just need your finger over the string to mute it. Um, but, you know, eventually it be these things become second nature. All right, so the strumming pattern itself, now if you watch my channel, you know that I don't really deal in down-ups a lot. <laughs> I, I, every time I strum, I strum differently, so I, I'd rather you feel into it, hear it, and just try and come up uh, with a rhythm that sounds similar. Um, but for those of you that really want that, I'll, I'll try my best. It's uh, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I might embellish on that sometimes, right? Just if I'm feeling right into it, you know? Um, but let's hear how that sounds. Again, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. So again, you can have a lot of fun with those chords, pack it, strum it, do whatever you like. So yeah, that's a lesson. Now guys, uh, just a quick note before we finish. Uh, if you are looking for uh, a teacher and you want to really go for it in 2024, then I'm getting amazing results with my 12-week private coaching program where I'm transforming beginners into real guitar players uh, by taking them through all the theory, the cage system, triads, everything that you need to bridge that gap between being an amateur and a real <laughs> guitar player. So if you're looking for that, if you really want to go for it in 2024, you can apply via the application below. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you soon in the next lesson.